Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Spike Man Dan's YouTube. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to inflate your rear tire simply by dismantling the rear tire on the bike itself. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. As always, Spike Man Dan coming at you live. <laughs> Okay, so for the beginning part of taking off your rear tire, you're going to need a few tools, and these are the precise millimeter wrenches you will need. You will need an 8, a 14, and a 17, because the rear rim is going to have two different bolt sizes, one side 14 mil and the other side 17 mil. The 17 mil is going to be on the sprocket side, the 14 is going to be on the passenger side or your right side and the 8 mil is going to be just to take off the chain guard. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so now depending on how you want to air up your tire, depending on which way the valves, the valve stem, it, it either could be on the sprocket side or the disc brake side. And depending on which side that is on could determine whether if it is easy or not easy. In my video, it shows that it is on the disc brake side. As opposed to most people's situation, it is on the sprocket side. And everybody knows the stock sprocket is solid metal. So if it is the case, you will have to dismantle your tire. Otherwise, in this case, I didn't have to necessarily do that with mine, but I'm just doing this to show you how to go about doing that. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the stem is on the disc brake side of my room, or if I flip this around, most of you guys have yours on the sprocket side, but most of you don't have openings in this sprocket, and I will show you an example of what I got in my toolbox. Now the problem with this is, is 
But if you have a stock spot here, like so, there's absolutely no way to get to that. So what you will need to do, you will need to take your 8 mm wrench, and you will need to unbolt each and every single one of these around like so. Just unbolt the spot. Rocking carefully off, and then you will have easy access to wherever the valve stand is. Simple as that. But if it's the other case, um, which mine is, you have openings all the way around the disc brake. Fortunately enough, I was lucky enough to have mine on the opposite side. So I'm able to get in there with my fingers and just carefully. About that, and so on and so forth. And there's even enough room to take for me to get here with my phone and adjust that. And it on to that like so. So that's my video tutorial on how to air up your rear tire on the Coleman C2100. So onward and forward to the uh, reassembly of this tire.
people so one thing I caught I made a, a little mistake is you're gonna want to pay attention to there's a little washer <clears throat> that goes in between the spacer and the frame I forgot that sitting on the ground it was sitting right here totally blindsided but there is no washer on the inside of the spacer on the other side. And yet, look at the difference on how much better that spins compared to what you saw earlier. It sounded like it was binding up earlier, but look at this. That's exactly how you want it to spin. That is just beautiful. And that's completely tightened up and everything. So yeah, do not forget that little washer that goes on the inside of the spacer in the frame. There's plastic washers on the outside of this side and this side on the outside there's another little plastic washer that you can see in between the frame but there is no washer whatsoever on the inside of the frame or towards the wheel. It's just specifically on the inside of right here on the sprocket side if you forget that your wheels not gonna spin like this that is spinning freely nice and beautiful well I hope you all enjoyed that video montage of how to inflate the rear tire on the Coleman CTU 100 sport or just 100 
My name is Spike Man Dan. You can find me at www.youtube.com forward slash Spike Man Dan. If you have any suggestions on any new videos you would like to see me do for you, don't feel afraid to leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, like and subscribe, folks. Spike Man Dan. We'll see you next time. As always.